beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and today i am turning my really 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 old knotless braids into goddess butterfly locks faux locks gonna be really long i just got out the shower i just finished washing my braids and i honestly can say that i actually like this messy look that's going on with these braids but nah because when my hair dry up it's gonna be looking busted again but yeah, I did wash and blow dry my, I mean not blow dry, I did wash and condition my hair. Um, I plan to blow dry it out, but before I, I'm about to blow dry it out, but I made sure I put some leave-in conditioner in my hair, moisturizer, and oil my scalp while it was all still moist. And then I'm going to just blow dry out because I would hate to put wet hair underneath more hair. And then it's going to get like mildew and stinky probably. I don't know. I just what I heard. So before I get into the blow drying part, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now. Subscribe to my channel. Don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button. So you know every time I post a video. Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. So my hair is as blow dried out as it could possibly be. And I am going to now start to refresh in my parts and started slicking it together and wrapping the extra excess hair around my hair. Well, the braids, so I don't have to take the braid fully out. And then I'm going to just start to lock it. The part process is probably going to take the longest time. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it right now. You probably won't see that because it's simple. My parts are already parted. I'm just going to get another mirror and look in another mirror and see the back of my hair and just refresh the part out. And I'm going to use some shine jam to slick it down and wrap my hair around the excess hair, the excess hair around the braid, not this braid. Okay. See you guys when it's locking time. All right, guys. So I am completely finished with fixing my parts my hair isn't laid down because i just I'm not really a big fan of laying down your edges unless you necessarily need to what i did do though was come in here and um put rubber bands around my hair because i don't understand the process of how to reuse hair reuse your braids and then slicking it down and i don't want my hair to start locking so i didn't want to twist it around the braids so I just came in with rubber bands and made sure I, this one isn't that good, but I came in with rubber bands to make sure I had some somewhat clean parts, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. It is currently like, I don't even know, like four or something. Oh no, it is 610. Literally like this took a really long time. So I'm hoping that me twisting around my hair doesn't take that long. All right guys, so here is the hair that I'm going to be using. This is Afro Nala Tress. I never used this hair before. It's the Janet Collection, but it came with a whole lot of hair in it for 20 bucks. It is 80 inches, and so it's really, 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 really long. And I'm probably am going to use the whole length of the hair and just call it that. If not, then I'll just cut it. However, my hair is already really long. So it goes down to my waist. So I don't think it'll make a difference if this is long too, because I've had long hair this entire time. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. The only thing you need now is you really need your crochet needle, um, nail glue to seal the ends, just to make sure it doesn't unravel in your hair and movies to watch because this is about to take some time. All right, guys. So I am finally at the end of my transformation from not loose braids to bog faux locks and it literally took me all day i have two left here that are really long so i just want to go ahead and do these for you on the camera so you guys can actually see what it what it looks like what is the process so for starters i am going to cut it down so here's what happened i actually thought i wanted my hair to be like really really long excuse the spots on my shirt that's nail glue that's all over it i don't know i guess it was dropping off my ends but yeah i wanted it to be really long but then i decided mm, i don't want it to be really long because when i had it like this this is super cute and i'm just gonna do it like that again so i'm just gonna cut it to the length that i would like it to be and this is my long piece. I had to make this side long because this side ended up being longer than I 
anticipated it. So I'm just gonna cut it right. Uh oh, it's not as long as I would like it to be, but it's okay. And um, yeah. So I'm gonna take this down so you guys can see the side of it. Oh no, it's not that long. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. But yeah, my parts. These are the same exact parts that I had for my knotless braids. All I did was put a rubber band around it just so it could stay clean. I did not lay my edges down yet, so please ignore that. But yeah, let's just jump right into it, okay? So as you can see, I fixed my part and I put my rubber band on it. The next thing you're gonna do is grab your piece of hair. This is really, really long actually, it's 80 inches, but for some reason it still just did not seem long enough. So what I ended up doing is, I had some extra hair left over. So I, what I did was I started with this hair and I'm gonna twist it a little bit so the crochet needle can hook around it. Get my crochet needle. My nose has been running like crazy. I'm just gonna move this out the way. My nose has been running like crazy. I don't even understand. I think it's cause it's like really hot in here, but that's, it's crazy. Then I open the window and my nose running some more. So it don't make no sense. It's that definitely not allergy season. So you see how I pulled it through underneath my hair? My rubber band isn't even really tight. I don't want it to pull my edges out, so I just left it a little bit loose. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit higher. It's no really no preference, it's just I need the width of this to be a little bit long so I can make sure that this hair reaches all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and loop it around. It's probably best that you loop it the way that the curl is already going. That would make a lot of sense. There, hold it. This is the part where you probably want to do it the tightest. There, that looks so much better. And then I'm going to start doing a butterfly lock. There you go, you see, that is much, sorry, that is much better. That looks better at the root too. So these are the butterfly lock part, that this just butterfly-ish look that you want to go for. I am going to do one here just for the sake of it before I blend more hair into it, because clearly I need more hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little piece of it at the bottom with my thumb, it doesn't matter how much you pull out. Here it goes. And then I'm gonna wrap it on top of my thumb. Just like that. Two times is probably best. And then I'm gonna pull my thumb out and wrap underneath my thumb. See that? This is how you achieve the butterfly look. It doesn't really have a, a pattern as to how many times you do it or when you do it. It's just, just go for it whenever you feel like throwing your thumb in there and then it'll look really distressed. Here's how you add another piece of hair to make it full and longer. So what I'm gonna do is connect the end to this and I'm gonna wrap on top of the hair that is already wrapped. I'm just gonna go up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a distressed butterfly in there. So I'm gonna put my thumb in at the bottom. Don't You don't really have to put your pull your thumb all the way through, it's just a push out really. Then I'm gonna go underneath my thumb as well. I'll show you guys again in a second.
Okay, here we go again. So you see how it comes out. So I'm gonna show you guys again. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. Grab the bottom of this with my finger. Wrap on top of my finger. You can do this two times. You can do this one time, it's up to you. Pull your finger out and wrap underneath the loop. Ta-da! When you have your butterfly locks like really close together, you probably don't need to wrap on top of it two times. Only when it's like really spread, sc scattered out, and then you might want to wrap it on top twice, and then on the bottom, you just keep looping it. And then there you have it, beautiful people. That is your butterfly lock. This is super cute, actually. I'm gonna do it one more time for you guys because I have one more braid left. I'm gonna show you guys how to seal your locks. It's multiple different ways to do it. So what I did was I put nail glue on it, put nail glue right on my ends down here First, I wrap it back up. If you have extra hair, just go ahead and wrap it back up. But don't forget, don't wrap it around your butterfly lock. See, you can keep it like this and just close it with your hands. It's kind of like real locks. Or you can put some nail glue on it. Simple nail glue, two for a dollar at the beauty supply store. That works. Or, or you can put fire to it. And now to seal your hair together. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. I'll do one more, okay? This is my last one. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of my way. And let's get into this one. Again, I'm going to start it off with a small piece of hair just so I know that the rest of the long hair goes all the way through. So, yeah. So what I'm doing is just twisting this, holding it on my finger. This is the long part that I'm gonna wrap. Get my crochet needle, come right underneath there. Your hook is open as you can see here. Hook it just like that. But the important thing is to close the hook so the hook don't pull your hair when you're coming back through. That hurts. It is hard to come and loose. Again, I'm only leaving a little bit out because I still want to be able to make sure that the hair reaches the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and begin to wrap it around. Again, this is the part that you really want to be tight so it doesn't unravel and you start looking crazy at the root. See? I'm going to do it a few more times. Ta-da! That looks seamless. So perfect. Okay, I'm going to do my butterfly lock. Start it here. Almost done. 
and then I'm gonna add the other hair in a second again here is my butterfly locks forming it's not perfect of course it doesn't look exactly like the other one it shouldn't all your locks should be different so I'm gonna put my finger in at the bottom of here lap it wrap it on the top of that two times and then come under it and wrap it underneath it like that now i'm gonna come on in i'm gonna add my last piece of hair of course i'm gonna start it off at the end of it just to make sure that the long the elongated part goes all the way to the bottom Again, I'm going to wrap over the hair that's already been wrapped just to make sure it's secure. And I'm going to put a butterfly lock right here, wrap over two times, then wrap under two times, and then keep on going. I'll show you guys the butterfly lock again in one second. Just be careful with, because your hair can tangle the part that you're holding. You don't want to end up wrapping it around because then it's hard to untangle it. Okay, let's do it again, guys. So again, here is my lock, butterfly locks forming. So, I have my hair. I'm gonna put my finger at the bottom of here. Sorry that I have a runny nose, guys, so sorry. Put my finger at the bottom of here. Come and wrap on top of my finger two times. And then I'm gonna let my finger go. And I'm gonna wrap underneath it. See, just like that. It really does not matter how much hair you pull. It just depends on how big you want your butterfly to be. See? It is forming beautifully. <laughs> You will get the hang of it and you will not really care how much your thumb pulls because when you uh, loop, um, release it and you're finished with the entire lock, it will come out looking like this. All uneven, but it still looks super cute. I'm almost done here. Again, when you get to the bottom, you don't want to wrap it around and make it go up. Uh-oh, one second. This is the tricky part because it's so thin, it falls out of your hand, and then it starts to unravel. Okay, so this is the excess hair. I'm just going to fold it up. And I'm just going to wrap the hair that I was already wrapping back around until it meets with it perfectly. See, then I'm gonna blend it together and then I'm gonna wrap it around. Again, I'm not gonna wrap over my, I'm not gonna cover up my butterfly lock. I'm just gonna skip over it and continue to wrap the hair all the way up until I run out. Voila, then I'm gonna give this one of these. It rubbed the butterfly lock out anyways, but it's okay because it was at the end anyways. There, you can put nail glue, but I'm just going to do this seamless real quick. Voila. There you have it, beautiful people. Let me show you guys the final look. <laughs> it's so pretty. It 
it's heavy though. That's the only thing is that it is heavy. Let me show you guys what the back of it looks like. So yeah, guys, here you are with the final look of my butterfly locks. And it is just so much to manage, but I'm going to get it together in my life. Okay, so there you are, beautiful people. Of course, as you know, I'm Tara J. This is a super detailed tutorial. I'm hoping on how to convert your old dusty knotless braids into a bob butterfly locks. Okay, I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for it all my other videos that are coming. I love you guys very much. Peace.